I think uh, for as we see it uh, right now, there is uh, a big struggle with the objectives of the convention. We see the convention with an objective to reduce uh, emissions, to maintain us within 1.5 degrees, but also to generate uh, well-being for the people, to have an adequate development. And right now there is a struggle between the rule book to create the mechanisms and structures that can secure the 1.5, but also of maintaining the substance that the mentions to human rights, to public participation, to gender, that can also help us create sustainable development. So in between these two um, objectives and these two streams of, of interest and negotiation, it's how NGOs are trying to participate and to remind parties that human rights and public participation are some uh, issue that has to be part of the of, of the rulebook for it to actually achieve completely its uh, its objective. It's not enough to have a rulebook that helps us to achieve 1.5. We have to do it in a just and in a sustainable manner. And for that, we need the mention of human rights. We need the uh, operationalization of human rights within the rulebook. And in, in talking with parties, and dialoguing with them, reminding them how this is extremely relevant for society and how is the right of people to have the, this in the rulebook is one of the main challenges that negotiators have and us as NGO also. Our organization focuses uh, at two levels. So at the national level, we try to bring stakeholders and government to dialogue to see what are they doing in climate action, why are, what and why are they doing, and how can they connect, what are their needs, what, what are the interests, so they can have a better understanding while they're implementing climate action. And this is crucial also for NDC planning in the in currently and in the future as we have to strive for ambition. And in the international level, we try to facilitate NGOs from our region, Central America, to engage more, to be participant here, to have a voice here, because we are severely underrepresented as a people, as, an, as a sector of civil society, and for us to have an input and to shape how negotiations, and also to influence, for example, right now, how the rule book is being uh, um, designed, extremely important. And for example, when we don't, when, when Human rights are being questioned if they are not or kept or, or, or not. For us in Central America, this is essential because for the interests, for example, for human rights defenders or for gender issues, to have this reference there is key. And for us to have more society, civil society here in the future and now, it's what we need to do. I think ambition is something that comes from people because what we're thinking and what we're saying that we will do is to create new and uh, review indices to make them more ambitious and this has to be related to the context of where people are and one of the thing, uh, key things that uh, are, is related to this is that NDCs are, will be reviewed throughout time so we need the people to maintain indices and maintain ambition throughout the time. And also that is essential for them to, to be part of it because it, this will make climate action more effective and more efficient. So for it to be ambitious, we have to engage people, we have to give them information, we have to generate procedures for, for them to engage, and then we can have more ambitious goals and reach the 1.5 goal.